Installing a CPU is easy. Just follow this guide and you'll be good to go. First, you need to make sure that your CPU and motherboard are compatible. Intel CPUs won't work with boards made for AMD and vice versa, but you also need to make sure that your motherboard is designed for the correct generation of CPU. Here's a graphic that'll show you which motherboard you're looking for depending on your CPU. Don't see your CPU or motherboard? Just head to newegg.com forward slash PC builder and see if your components are compatible. Now that you're sure your CPU and motherboard are compatible, it's time to install. Don't take your motherboard out to look at until you're ready and be sure to leave this plastic cover over the socket. It'll pop off on its own when you install the CPU. It's important to know the pins in the socket can be damaged very easily. So extra care must be taken to make sure you don't touch the pins or accidentally drop the CPU into the socket. The first step to install the CPU is to get everything ready. The motherboard should go onto the box that it came in. Then open the socket by pressing the socket arm. Moving it to the side will allow the socket to pop open. You may need to lift the bracket to get full access. Now the socket is exposed. Again, do not touch the pins or allow the CPU to drop inside as it will permanently damage your motherboard. Inspect the socket to make sure there are no bent pins. If there are, stop the installation process and contact Newegg customer service to have the issue addressed. Look at your CPU. Regardless of whether you have an AMD or Intel CPU, your CPU will be keyed in the form of notches, both on the CPU itself and the motherboard. Also, the text on the CPU should be oriented in the same direction as the motherboard. Finally, there are arrows on the CPU itself that will line up either with the socket on AMD or with the plastic protective cover on Intel. AMD CPUs point to the upper left and Intel CPUs point to the lower left in relation to the socket and the motherboard. And once you're sure of the correct orientation, hold the CPU by its edges to prevent contact with the CPU bottom. To install the CPU gently and slowly lower the CPU into place, making sure to line up the notches on the CPU and the motherboard correctly. Gently drop the CPU into place so all the pins make contact with the CPU at the same time. The CPU should sit in the socket flat. If it's at an angle, then it's installed the wrong way. There is zero downward pressure needed to get the CPU to sit correctly in the socket. So all you have to do is lower the retention bracket until it sits loosely over the CPU. Finally, lower the retention arm. You'll feel resistance as you lower the arm. Make sure to secure it under the catch on the side. Now you can install your CPU cooler per the manufacturer's directions. Be sure to take the plastic cover off the cooler's contact plate before you install. Also, don't throw the socket cover away. You'll need it to protect the socket if you decide to change out the CPU in the future. That's it. If you're looking for additional compatible parts, check out the Newegg PC Builder. For more about how to build PCs, check out these videos. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure you're subscribed to Newegg on all your social media platforms for more great content like this. I'm Ben Tibbles, and this is Newegg.